put a goddamn shirt jean yun yelled at her best friend as she caught sight of him stumbling out of his room and sleepy state jungle scrunched his nose as i still half slept trying to process what was happening as his feet automatically led him to the kitchen where yun was standing can't you just say it like a normal human being do you really have to yell at me in the morning yun rolled her eyes and faced by jungle crocky complaints as he struggled to put on his shirt what the hell it's not fitting me did i get more buff or something june that's my shirt you are trying to tear apart jungle finally opened his eyes fully his gaze falling on the shirt and it was really her shirt what your shirt doing in my room how do i know bro don't tell me you secretly try my clothes the hell you he groaned and threw the shirt on the sofa then went to grab his own shirt june put the shirt back in my closet this boy Yun sighed as Jungkook was already out of the side and she started eating her breakfast. They were already late and because of him they always got late. Jungkook came back from his room now wearing a shirt as he sat down. Eat into X speed we are going to be late for uni again. Please can you close your mouth and let me eat in peace? Yun rolled her eyes as she fin- finished the breakfast, washed her face and went to her room to get her backpack. But Jungkook was quick to follow her while munching on his food. And just as Yun was about to come out of the room, Jungkook locked the door with the keys. Jun, what the hell? Open the door! Jungkook smiled, satisfied as he made his way back to his table. If he is going to get late, she would be late too. I swear, Jungkook, open the damn door right now! But Jungkook kept scrolling down the Twitter. Reading the latest news like a newspaper, he can hear her banging on the door and screaming. He getting his revenge when she poured water on him to wake him up for school. Yoon and Jungkook had been best friends since they were five years old. They were neighbors, but their friendship didn't begin with a typical meet cute. In fact, it started with a clash of personalities. The five years old Jungkook was playing with a ball in the garden. Since they were neighbor, they shared one playground. He was absorbed in chasing the ball and attempting to score the ball. that he had set up using net he found somewhere in the house that he didn't notice this small girl with doll in her hand happily jumping around coming in his way and to his bad luck as he kicked the ball it accidentally struck right into her face causing her to knock out on the ground junko instantly turned into panic as he realized what had happened the little junko crushed over the girl's side tears welling up in his eyes and he knelt beside her I'm sorry please wake up. Hey wake up are you dead? He panicked as he shook her violently with his tiny hands. His tears dropping down thinking he murdered someone. He rushed inside his house come back with a glass of water something his wife t- told him to do and he knelt beside her again. Hey girl wake up don't die. Look my parents are not home. With trembling hands he poured the cl- entire glass of water onto her face. He started she coughed and sudden rush of water jolting her awake. What happened? She coughed as she spoke, and Jungkook was very nervous. He saw her waking up. He jumped back from her. If he is seen someone dead coming back to life, um, hi, are you okay? I didn't mean to hit you. He touched her with his little hands, and Yoon looked at him confused. She was seeing this boy first time, but it was not her concern. She touched her face where the ball hit. It was spinning, and it will surely leave a mark on her baby face. How could you kick the ball? in my face that hurt jungkook looked offended by her tone it's not like he was waiting for her so he can kick the ball on her face well you come in my way it's your fault yun gasped taken aback by his response she stood up brushing off the dirt from her clothes and jungkook followed behind how can you blame me you kick the ball you should apologize to me jungkook crossed his arms stop an expression on his face i did apologize but you were dead and now you're suddenly woke up Yun angrily looked at him and stomped her face to where his ball was lying on the ground and snatched it up. Fine, if you are not going to apologize, I will just take your precious ball. The little Yun sat and stomped back in her house while her small feet to complain to her parents. Yun could watch in disbelief as Yun stomped off with his ball. He had only ball he can't lose that. Hey, wait, give me my 
my ball. Abitian was already inside her house, leaving little Junko farming in anger. But that's where the friendship start. Junko apologized and will give him ball back. And then playing in the same playground, they started to become friends and soon into best friends. Yet they still became like a five years old. Stop right there! You yelled as she kept running behind Junko, who was running towards the university. Catch me, short legs! Junko yelled back, but didn't stop. She was looking like an angry bull who just saw a red shot and now chasing it. June, I swear your death will be easy if you stop right now. Yun said sweetly, as they saw the university gate, Jungkook was quick to climb up the wall. With the help of Tui, they were now used to it, sneaking from back because the door closed and they would get detention for getting late. Yun climbed behind him, and as Jungkook stood up, dusting his cloth, getting ready to run from the running monster, Yun tackled him down on the ground, sitting on top of him. Gotcha! She exclaimed. They both panting heavily, and Yun smiled devilishly. Jungkook just saw his life flash in front of his eyes. And Yun, look, we can talk about this later. Oh, now we are not so brave, are we? She said and raised her fist to punch him. Guys, can you save these nasty things for your dorm? Yun and Jungkook froze, realizing what Jimin meant, and they quickly stood up from each other, brushing off their dirty clothes. As they noticed their way, as they noticed the weird glances from other students, what? She spat to one girl who was looking at them with her mouth open, like they did something wrong. People really made everything weird in this small head. The girl shook her head and went away from there. Why are you acting like mad woman? Yun glared at Yungi, who was holding his arm on his chest. Your friend right here. Where the hell? Where the hell did he go? She said, looking around. He was just standing here. What did he do this time? That boy locked me in the room, and now we are late. God, I'm surprised you didn't kill each other yet. Soon, Yungi, soon he's going to die too. No one can save him from me. Oh my God, Yun, I'm afraid. He teased her more, and Yun glared at him too, while Yungi grabbed her hand to drag her inside the class. The, the four of them are really chaotic. And that teacher was thinking she did something when she herself can't even calculate two plus two without using a calculator. You should have been there, Yun. The teacher was calling him like, "How can you solve this question wrong? This is the easiest question in the whole book." And guess what? She couldn't even solve the question herself. I'm so done with these old white-haired teachers. Please, they took her husband, children, frustration out on us. Yun commented as Yungi was taking his frustration out because how teacher was scolding them for no reason. Just then, Yungi arrived with a tray of food in his hand and placed it on the table. What took you so long, buddy? The line was insane, and these girls were just staying there for no reason, taking up all the space. Jimin reached out for the burger, and they all sat down to share their meal in the cafeteria. Jungi placed folded paper on the table, groaning as he started eating his food. What is this? Yungi reached out, unfolded the paper, realizing a phone number written on it. One of the girl, the girl gave me her number, thinking I would date her or something. You are quite heartbreaking, Jungkook. So many admirers, Jimin teased, and Jungkook rolled his eyes and returned. Please, these girls are so delulu. They just see pretty boys and start showing their bodies to get a chance. But I think you are the delulu one if you think you are pretty. Pretty, handsome, smart. Yes, I know I am. That's why girls are always after me. Wow, so full of yourself. Just don't get your ego to your head. Jungkook ignored her comment, continued to munching on his burger. I saw that Jimin. Jimin froze in his place, trying to act innocent. What? I didn't do anything. Yeah, you didn't, huh? Except slipping the number of girls in your pant pocket. Jimin surrendered, raising his hand in the defeat. Jungkook and Yumi chuckled. You got me, but if my friend is not going to take the opportunity, I might as well as some fun, huh? Do whatever you want, Shorty, but don't get yourself in trouble. Remember last time when you ended up in the police station because you're flirting with officer wife? Jim and Iris turned red, embarrassed by the reminder. The three of them burst into laughter, recalling the time they received a call from the police station. Panicking, they rushed to the station only to find their friend in trouble. 
then three of them come up with a wild story to save Jimin from any consequence. They dramatically explain how their friend has suffering from severe mental trauma because her love of life died, and he become like this. And now he see everyone as his girlfriend. To their luck, and Jimin classing acting saved them that day. Please, can we not mention that again? I swear I'll be careful and not flirt with any officer. Jimin sat in the basketball area. The match was in tense since both of them are rivals and Jungkook don't really like the opposite team. Captain Taehyung is always it's because of match they are rivals, but he doesn't really like him in general. God, look at this boy. He's really something. Jungkook sat as he sat beside her empty chair. He was late to the match was about to end. He handed her packet of chips. Yeah, Jungkook loves basketball. There's no way anyone can win against him. But Taehyung is not less either. They are both so competitive. Yoon hummed as she watched both of them playing with a full passion. Jungkook always loved basketball, and he is really committed to his passion. And once he chooses something, he won't go back. The match ended, and Jungkook team cheered. The boy hugging in a group. It was practice matches, yet they all play it like a final match. The area began to empty out as everyone started to leave. Yungi laughed too. Yun watched as Jungkook choked towards her, so it glistening on his forehead, and she handed him the bottle. Let's go home. Wait, the coach called me. Can you wait for me here? No, I'm tired. I don't want to stay here any longer. Yun, just ten minutes. Okay, go and make it quick. Jungkook hurriedly walked out of there and Yun sighed, taking out her mobile. She didn't feel someone present. She just sat beside her, looking at her as he drained the juice from the bottle. Hey, the deep voice started her, causing her to snap her head to the direction it came from. To her surprise, it was Taehyung, the blonde boy sitting right beside Yoon. She glanced around to see if he is calling out someone else in the empty class. I'm talking to you, Yoon. Oh, me? I'm high then? But how do you know my name? Well, I think everyone knows you since you are with Jungkook. Yoon followed her address that was not supposed to be offensive. But his tone made it seem like it. Right. She shrugged it off, not paying attention, and started using her mobile again. What are you doing here alone? Waiting for Jungkook? The boy left you alone here. Well, he needed to attend something important. I don't mind waiting. Oh, I see. If you're bored, maybe I can keep you company. You can finally look at the blunt boy. He was. Looking relaxed, but the thing suddenly he was interesting in talking with her. It just didn't quite sit right to her, or maybe she is reading too much. Reading into it so much? No, I'm sure you have important things to do than waste your time here with me. Off time anyway. Besides, getting to know new people can be instructive, can be interesting, don't you think? Are you interested in knowing me all of a sudden? Yun raised her eyebrow and Taehyung smiled. Come on, I don't bite. I get it. I'm rather with Yun good, but it's a game. No need to act defensive around me. Yun simply shrugged her shoulder. It's just her instincts. She talked back carefully with people she don't know. As Taehyung's reputation is not really good, she don't want to start act friendly towards him. So we can be friends, right? All of a sudden. Yeah, you look quite interesting to be friend with. Okay, then if you say so. So are you coming to my party? Your party? Yeah, on such a night I invited everyone. Just a casual party, you know. Okay, I will think about it. Jinko leaned forward, a playful smile on his face. Don't give it too much thought. I won't kidnap you. Before you could respond him, another voice cut through the air as it seemed he was not quite pleased with the side he said. Yun, let's go home. Yun turned her head to see Jungkook standing there. His expression clearly showing irritation. She quickly stood up, realizing it was Lee. Sorry, I have to go. Maybe we can catch up another time. Sure, but I won't take no for an answer. He said, folding his head behind his back. As he watched Jungkook leaning at him, but he smiled in return. Yun quickly walked over to Jungkook as he 
turn around to leave. What was he talking about? Jungkook asked as they made their way back to the room. Nothing, he invited me to his party. He invited you, why? I don't know bro, he just casually sat beside me, start talking, he mentioned party and invited me. I don't trust that guy, you should stay away from him. I don't think he's that bad like people say, well if I say he's bad, then he is bad. Why are you getting so worked up, idiot? She said smacking his head and Jungkook says, you don't have to smack me. Maybe that will knock some senses into you, you can be stop born sometime, June. Well, you're basically done, so I'm just protecting you. You know how much I love you as a friend, of course. Finger crossed. He teased her, putting his arms around her shoulder, and you rolled her eyes while pinching his stomach. Oh, 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 you leave me alone. Yeah, now get away from me, you stink. I took a shower before coming here. He defended himself with a bout, then raised her eyebrow. Well, you still have that sweaty basketball smell lingering on you. It's not the most pleasant fragrance, you know. Yun said, and she entered inside, and Jungkook followed her, sniffing his own shirt. You liar, I don't stink, see? You know he was sweating. He needed another shower, yet he couldn't resist the chance to tease her. He tried to get close to Yun, but he ended up running. Yun, stay away from me. She yelled, running towards her room, and Jungkook chased after her. You can't escape from me, Yun. They raced through the hallway. Finally, Yun reached her room and quickly shut the door on his face. Jaku laughed and taking off his backpack as he made his way to his room to change his clothes. Yun sat comfortably on the sofa, engrossed in her biology notes. Jungkook appeared out of nowhere, hitting her head on the head. What are you reading? Something about weird fantasy stuff, huh? Hey, don't interrupt me while I'm studying. Jungkook smacked mischievously as he looked over her shoulder at the textbook. Oh, look at these pictures. You seem to have a lot of interest in these kind of things, don't you? Yun blushed, feeling slightly embarrassed by his teasing. It's just biology, Jungkook. It it's important to understand how our body works. Come on, Yun. Admit it, you secretly find those diagrams fascinating. That's why you choose this subject. Interesting too. Don't act like you're not curious about the human body. Okay, maybe I do find it interesting, but I'm not one studying it, am I? Well, someone has to be responsible when around here. Responsible or just someone who enjoys learning about body parts. Stop testing my words, you goof. Jungkook chuckled, knowing he was getting on his wheels, but he didn't stop yet. He leaned forward, tilted his head as not playing on his lips, as he got a full view of her face. I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to these things. I can give you detailed explanation if you want. Your face turned crimson, and she slapped the Notes on his chest, avoiding his gaze. Get away, I need to study. Jungkook laughed at the reaction and leaned back on the sofa. Oh, how much he loved her, I mean, how much he loved teasing her. Then shook her head and tried to focus back on her notes. The four of them were sitting in the cafeteria, enjoying their meal, the only time the four of them meet together. You look around the table to find some kimchi, is there any left? Hey, is there some kimchi left? Sorry, man, it's all finished. Maybe next time. Yungi watched the exchange with the rest of the eyebrows and You two should start eating. The way you two act is so cringe. Both of them chuckled and said it in one voice. Now nah, we are just friends and fist bump each other and Yoongi and Jimin roll their eyes at the same time. You do and you denial. It's so obvious they wash up of Jimin come and not paying attention. Hi Yun. Yun turned her head to see Taehyung standing there with a smile on his face. Oh hey Taehyung. 
I wanted to talk to you about the party. Did you think about my invitation? Yun thought about it for a moment, glancing at her friend sitting at the table. She smiled, turning back to Tehan. Actually, can my friends come too? Tehan shifted his eyes in the group, and he can, and his gaze locked with Jungkook, a mocking smile on his face. But Jungkook's face was cold, clearly indicating his dislike for Tehan. Of course, the more the merrier. You are all welcome to the party. He didn't trust Tehan in tension, especially when it came to Yun. But he remained silent, listening to the exchange. What was all that about? He invited me to the party, and so now we are going to Yungi. Well, if it's a free party, count me in. Me too. Not knowing someone was quiet and didn't like the whole interactions a bit. What a boring party! I already had it here. June, we didn't even get inside the house. Stopping so dramatic. Yun sat following her eyes all the time. He kept whining. He don't want to go, but she dragged him with her. Jungkook reluctantly followed Yun into the party. His annoyance evident on his face. The loud music assaulted his ears as they stepped inside. Can't believe you're here. He said annoyingly, and she grabbed his hand, leading him further into the party. As they made their way through the dancing bodies, everyone enjoying themselves. Jungkook watched the whole house. It was big and luxurious. Of course, Taehyung is rich, and he had show off. He rolled his eyes. Hey, I was waiting for you. Glad you make it. He heard Taehyung's voice and turned to see only to see him hugging Yoon. You are looking stunning tonight. Thank you. She said with a smile. Go hard. Taehyung has fallen. Jungkook. Hello, Jungkook. Did you like the arrangements? Jung clenched his jaw, seeing the smirk on Blunt Boy's face. Mine are still better than this. Jung said, and you nudged him. Jung just laughed, not taking him seriously. Shall we grab a drink? He asked from Yun, but she looked back at him. He was waiting for her to say no, but sure, just one drink. And Jung just stood there, watching his best friend going away with his rival. What happened, boy? Why are you alone? Where is Yun? Jimin came out of nowhere, but Jungkook eyes were fixed on the two of them. Jimin followed his gaze. Whoa, why does it seem like Taehyung is stirred? Why does it seem like Taehyung is interested in her? Jungkook jaw tightened, his dislike for the boy growing every minute. Jungkook nodded, giving at the left. Giving the last glance to them who were laughing together, now and walked away from there. As they reached to Yungi, had a drink in his hand, his eyes half closed and lazily observed the party. Yungi, look, I found our muscle bunny. Well, well, did you finally escape the hand clutches? Jungkook stood and sat beside Yungi. His annoyance is still evident on his face. I can't leave you and agree to go with him. She know I can't stand that guy. Why so moody? She can handle herself in Ohan. Still, she can be dumb sometimes. Someone possessive over her. Jimin teased and Jungle snatched the glass out of Yongi hold, making him hiss and return. She is my best friend, and that's what best friend do: look out for each other. Jimin and Jungle knowing exchange glances. Sure, whatever help you sleep at nights. Jungkook rolled his eyes, cursing at Jimin, who just snatched the trauma with popcorn in his hand. Tang eyes lingered on Yun, who was casually looking around, looking for someone. I hope I'm not making you uncomfortable by inviting you here. Yun shrugged, taking a sip from her glass. Not, it's good. Well, if you feel like having an even better time, you know where to find me. Yun chuckled, not paying attention to his flirting. I think I should go to my friends now. She said and finished the drink, but Taehyung grabbed her hand, stopping her in her tracks.